Hi Pisces, this is a general reading for, from about when you're reading it really, but from the summer until December, last six months of the year. It is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. I'm using the true black as usual, and then clarifying with these um, beautiful black violet tarot, which I've had a couple of weeks now, they're really nice. Let's get that into there. Right, Pisces, let's see what's going on for you. A little bit of action with the Knight of Swords there, Chariot for the Victory, uh, the Mech card, Four of Cups, Queen of Swords, I saw her when I was shuffling, Page of Wands, love to see that card, uh, King of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Nine of Cups, Energy on the bottom, the Hermit. Let's get those in, in shop for you so it's nice and clear. Looks okay, it's not Oh, I've had uh, done a couple already today. Um, good solid cards, but it's not got the wow factor that some of the others have. So let's get into the detail and find out what's going on. There are some excellent cards in this, um, including the Hermit. So the energy on the bottom, the Hermit's about, you know, taking a bit of time to kind of internalise, you know, meditate, think about things, gain a bit of extra knowledge. Um, you know, I'm really into tarot, so I follow a lot of tarot readers. I read a lot on the tarot. I get different decks, you know, so kind of absorb the knowledge of tarot. Um, so it's that kind of thing. It's, it's finding out about stuff and also just going away and having a proper think about it. I have another deck here, I'll just show you, uh, which I've got recently, uh, Tarot Disassembled. I'm not using that yet because I'm not sat with it. I need to sort of sit with it and, and see how it talks to me and what cards work and what cards don't it's also quite a tricky deck because it's all disassembled anyway um so the knight of swords this is your sort of central area <clears throat> really loosely the way i read this is this is from the past so this is from now all the way to december pardon me <coughs> this is the situation as you see it this is what's going away from that situation or the subconscious this is the future or the clarity that you want so It'll read differently for different people. And also you can kind of read the corners. You saw the way I actually put it out in corners as well. <clears throat> but generally we just go, you know, by cons first of all. So we've got a <clears throat> triumphant victory here. This is the chariot. So it's Major Arcana card. It's the card of um, steering to Sphinxes normally in a Rider Waite deck. This one is, is much more concentrating on the fact you've got a victory, but where now, where next? So you've won, you've done whatever you wanted to do, you've been promoted, you've got the partner you've always dreamed of, where next, where now? Um, so time to do a bit of soul searching with that. And, and none of this is in a bad way, this is just, you know, maybe you're moving in together, is that kind of thing. So you're getting on really, really well, should we move in together, what a great idea. Then you move in together and go, hmm, this isn't going as well as I thought, or this, this needs work. You know, the relationship, the dynamic just changes, of course it does. Um, then we've got the Two of Swords. This talks about, you know, be careful that you're not losing an important message in this kind of friction and frisson and these two swords are rubbing against each other and not getting anywhere. Interestingly, this can also mean um, solace and respite and just going away and thinking about something, um, taking the blinkers off rather than the blindfold off, you know, not being quite so narrow-minded. So going away and kind of really thinking on a situation. And this is the um, Queen of Swords, which is kind of the Justice of the Minor Arcana. Justice is the Libra card, so I understand this card quite a lot. She's got two swords. One is actually piercing her hand, and it's a reminder that, you know, whatever kind of day you're having, whatever kind of life you're leading, there will be some sorrow in that. There will be some pain involved. That's just life. That's just what it is. She's got a crown of swords to remind herself when she puts them on that they can be quite cutting to other people and to herself. You know, she's been through the ringer. Um, she's She's been let down and disappointed, but she's able to to transform that not into knowledge to move forwards. You know, if you're... If you go in a situation and you don't learn from it, you're destined to go through that situation again. You know, you always do what you've always done. You always get what you always got. You know, so you need to look at that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Change it and move forward. If you go, that didn't work, I'll try it again. That didn't work, I'll try it again. That, you hear what I'm saying? You're not getting anywhere. You're not moving forwards. So this is about being clear. There's a victory. 
let's not lose sight of any of the details and let's be completely open honest and transparent and she sits above the storm clouds another one so she's quite in a traditional ride away deck she's really looking forward into the future really kind of you know steely yays you know been here before know what i'm going to do this time then the next we have the king of pentacles and then down to the knight of swords and down to the three of swords King of Pentacles has got the antlers above him, so that's tenacity and stamina. So that's a great energy to have. And I'd hold on to that energy in this reading. You know, you do need tenacity, you do need stamina. Tenacious is such a great word. Someone who is tenacious, really not going to, you know, be let down on this. It's also the entrepreneur card. He's pointing at, you know, what he's made. Pentacles are about, you know, physicality, really rolling your sleeves up and getting into something. So it's great to see that right at the top there as well. So you've got a great victory, you know you're really good at this, and then there's there's some kind there's something here we're gonna to have to clarify. This is the card that's kind of throwing me out. Everything else sort of leads towards that. And uh well it could come down this way, which is just fantastic. Uh Knight of Swords. Again, you see you've got these messages coming through. Is is the Knight of Swords got two swords. The Knight of Wands has a shield and no sword. Maybe he took the sword from her, I don't know. But He's lightly armoured, he's fast, he's agile, it's it's action, it's clarity, it's no nonsense, it's real, you know, get to the get to the real meat of the matter, you know, don't waffle, tell me what it is you want and then we'll go and do it. And then down here at the Three of Swords is is the heartbreak card essentially. So it's, you know, are, are you the heart or are you the sword? Have you been wounded before? And again, looking at this, I would say that it's probably you. So something's happened that's that's upset you, that's made you sad. Um, and you need to you need to heal from that, learn from that, so you don't repeat it. Yeah. So it's telling you, yeah, you know, I've had my heart broken, or it didn't. I didn't get the job at work that I wanted. Move on to the next bit. What's great about that is this fantastic energy here. Why we talk about coming out the other side, <laughs> Pisces. This is literally you just turning around and going, okay, that didn't work. So I'm going to jump in at the deep end. I'm going to go off and have this adventure. The page of wands is is someone who creates a portal beneath her feet and it's hard to see her expression on this but she's really jumping in with both feet it's like the indiana jones almost it's like well that didn't work in egypt i'm off to hong kong boom and off you go and it's just building on that kind of experience and excitement very kind of fool energy this real sort of you know to to make a portal that's going who knows where and just jumping in but jumping in with that real sense of excitement as well then your third column, you've got the Four of Cups, which is the, I call it the meh card, like you can't make a decision, nothing interests you. That they're, you know, they're filled with different levels of water. Again, in a more traditional ride awake deck, there's a card that's coming out of the clouds. So it's kind of even a, a subconscious choice or a decision you didn't know was coming in is just coming in. It's just making you feel a bit flat and a bit, yeah, what's the point? And, and it's odd because the rest of the energy is really powerful. Underneath this, you know, and again, if this is your situation going through here, be mindful of any messages because you end up in a fantastic place of satisfaction and affluence. You know, the, the nine of cups, we've got the Arctic fox there. It's got a very, um, it's a very exquisite fur, you know. I'm not talking about taking its fur off it, but it's a beautiful, desirable creature. Um, inside these cups is everything you could possibly want. There's money, there's food, there's drink. And she, she's on a bed of coins, you know, it, it's great. It's like everything you want is there. So with this energy down here as well, it's kind of jumping with both feet. So I think what you need to do is gain some knowledge, really in the cold light of day, learn from the experience. Whatever's been going on recently, I get the impression some of it might not have been terribly nice. But you have to learn from that. If, if your partner doesn't want to be with you anymore or the role wasn't for you and you didn't get it, the universe has a plan. And the plan results in affluence and adventure. And I think you might think at the moment that's not true. It is true. So don't worry about that. You're in for you're in for a heck of a journey. So let's just spread these out a little bit and grab some cards to go with that. Five of Wands. Um, yeah, it's a bit. It, it's a sort of niggling kind of energy that this is a bit of conflict going on. There's something going on there. Six of Swords. Um, Six of Swords is about moving to a new destination. It's literally about, it could, it could be a literal move, um, but it's it's certainly about the situation no longer serves you. So you're going from these turbulent waters, you know, and you, you're taking everything with you, including your burdens, I think. You've got to be very careful that people always think, well, if I had a different job or a different partner, I won the lottery, my life would be different. 
it would you'd have a different partner and a different job and, and money in the bank but it wouldn't change you in inside you know if you're what you are is what you are when you put your head on the pillow at the end of the night you know what i'm talking about hangman um okay so again the queen's all about being open and honest and truthful and being being ready to be hurt again and just to not willingly to be hurt but to go through the experience it's a bit like I went out with somebody, it didn't work out, so I'm not going to go out with anybody ever again. No, no, that's not what she does. She goes, I went out with someone, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Go and get some knowledge about this. Talk to my friends about it, and they go, that other person was a dick. Or they go, no, you just weren't right for each other. Or the time wasn't right. It doesn't matter. It's about the clarity and being honest with yourself and going, yeah, it didn't work. Move on. So the hanged one talks about literally hanging yourself from the tree of knowledge so you're off to get knowledge you're off to get knowledge you're off to get knowledge there's a real kind of sense of of learning or or coming to terms with yourself you know understanding what it is you really want so she's hanging upside down so she can literally see look at the world in a different way look at that situation from a different perspective it also talks about maybe you have to give something up so you lose the battle to win the war on top of the king, we've got the Four of Pentacles. I love the illustration on this one. She's holding on to what she's got, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. So you're kind of holding on to the relationship or to the money or to the job. But you see how she's kind of in a in a ravine. She's in a dip. So you can't see the bigger picture. You're just you're focusing on what's 10 yards ahead in what's instead of what's 10 miles ahead. So I would I would pull yourself up out of that hole and go and look at the future. Uh, ace of wands because yeah there's a new star coming there's a message coming in or lots of messages coming in ace of wands is a a new start but with real passion and enthusiasm i think you're going to go away and think about this pisces and it, it could take a week or a month or whatever but really kind of do some soul searching and then there's just going to be a light bulb moment you're going to go i know what it is and that's your new start there that's the ace and there's the ace of cups right underneath i mean you can see i'm picking these at random so you've gone from the ace of wands to the ace of cups this is a great new emotional start in this particular deck the ace the cup is pouring water onto poppies and poppies are your dreams but it's saying it's great to have a dream but you need to nurture that dream you need to give it attention you need to do the first step in the journey you know if your dream is to live in hong kong are you saving for the flight? Are you looking at accommodation over there? Are you looking for jobs over there? Do you need to speak the language? You know, what steps are you taking to to get this new start? In love, it's it's fantastic. I mean, it's the second best card in the deck. The Ace of Cups is a new start. There's a message coming in. It's important. It's, it's you know, it's, what's the word? It's not a minor change. It's a big old change coming in. The Fool. Okay, so you know on this meh card that you've got up here, a bit like, oh, yeah, so what? So what indeed, just jump off the cliff, just be the fool, just just jump in with both feet, go and have an adventure. Who knows where it's going to lead? It leads to the emperor. Okay, so on top of this this kind of satisfaction and structure, uh, satisfaction and abundance, you've got the structure, order and discipline of the emperor. This is someone who is in control and disciplined, but for all the right reasons. You know when you go on holiday and someone goes, oh, I've forgotten my passport, the emperor is the person who goes, ta-da, brought it with me and I brought some wet wipes and I brought drinks for us all and I brought water because we're going to have to throw them away before we go through security they're just on top of it you know you're just in control it's a really really great card to get there and what we've got here the hermit so you're doubling down on the hermit again right at the end so the hermit is definitely definitely a time of introspection and, and knowledge and experience and learning from that in this particular card you know the the hermit is sort of turning around and going what are you doing here it's like I was I was quite happy in my own skin just just finding out what, what I need to find out about, you know. Um great reading, really good reading. I think um it it feels to me, Pisces, like this is telling the whole story arc of from now till December. But you could be at the early part of this, which is where you're a bit sad and a bit gloomy and a bit down about a situation. This is saying if you learn from that experience, you end up in a fantastic place at the end of the year. I mean, really good place, ready to jump into a new adventure, into a new relationship, into a new start, into a new career, you know, and you've got 
the abundance of satisfaction and discipline and control you know just get yourself out of this hole down there think about this hole is there's nothing wrong with that you're not unhappy in that situation it's just a bit stagnant it's a bit short-sighted you know you want to think about where you want to be in the next five years not where you want to be in the next five days Anyway, have a great run out to the end of the year. I will see you on Sunday for your general weekly reading. Take care. I'll see you soon.